It's Booker season baby, and I finished book two. Hello, book friends. It's Alyssa. Hello, if you are new. Welcome back, if you are not. Uh, let's talk about the next book in my Booker season journey. I recently finished A Spell of Good Things, and I have some not good things to say about this book. Uh, I, I am a little bit upset because this is the book that I actually predicted, the only successful prediction on my predictions list, and it's, it, it, it was thoroughly disappointing, in my humble opinion. I think I'm just gonna make this review really quick and dirty and to the point, because I just... This is like my fourth take and I feel like this becomes a rambling mess of just not helpful reviewing of a book. Let's talk about why I don't like this book generally and why I think it could have been done better. So essentially this follows in Enola, who's a young boy. I'm definitely gonna say these names wrong. I apologize. He's a young boy and he is impoverished and he's his family is struggling to make ends meet education is huge like his mom wants them his her children to be educated he wants to be educated he loves school but they can't pay the school fees and he gets like beaten and humiliated and his life is so sad and demoralizing he's forced to beg on streets for money for school he takes up this apprenticeship sewing his sister is also very academically inclined. They make choices based on the money they have, his parents, to fund one's education and not the other. There's a lot of sadness and tragedy. It's potentially a very interesting storyline. The other storyline in this book is Warola. Definitely saying that wrong. She is a young adult who is a doctor. She is in a wealthy family. She is well connected politically and she is struggling with her role as a woman within Nigerian society, being a doctor, navigating like politically charged, the politically charged landscape. She's in a relationship filled with domestic violence. It should again be a very interesting storyline with a lot of things to discuss and break down and to critique eventually, and by eventually I mean like in the last 10% of this book, their storylines converge, it's allegedly dramatic, and the story kind of ends. The problem with this book is that though you have so many things that you are talking about that could be critiqued, that could make a very fascinating and interesting story, it is paced so excruciatingly slowly and the writing is so excruciatingly dry that all of that kind of gets m not missed but like dampened like you just don't engage the way that you might want to if this had been written better it is honestly just not a very skilled book it's not a particularly new or uh, engaging writing style. I just found the whole thing to not actually be bookerish, despite being set up to be a very hard-hitting, emotional, really truly engaging story, like a very humanly engaging story. Some of these scenes, there are scenes, this is not to say that this book is like a one-star book, but there are scenes in this that are very hard to read and are very difficult. And then there's just long stretches of boredom where you're like, where are we? What are we doing? Who are these people? Oh, okay. So we're back to where I want it to be, or you, we're back to this storyline or, okay, so we're back with this character. I feel like they could have done better and they could have done better for this story and they could have done better for this messaging. And unfortunately I just did not enjoy this one. I think unlike Old God's Time, this is going to be at the bottom of the list. If this gets shortlisted, I will be shook. If you've read A Spell of Good Things, I'd love to know your comments down below. I feel like there are people that really love it. I think what's interesting is watching somebody 
talking about the list as it came out. They hadn't read the book yet. And when they were describing the little bit of this that they read as, as being, it's got an energy to it. And let me tell you, I did not feel any energy from this story. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if I read it wrong or if this is just one of those, some books are for some people and some books are not, but yeah, truly disappointed. This was, this was a low point, low point so far in Booker 2023. Let me know your thoughts below. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, whatever it may be, because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Bye. So just sit with me, talking to the night and to the morning.